House Republican uh, Kevin McCarthy is talking to reporters now after this summit at the White House. We do have a crisis on the border right now. Um, we had a violent mob rush yesterday where we had a challenge there, but we know that we have a challenge along the border. We want to solve that issue. We want to make sure we open this government up. And I think at the end of the day, the president listening to him, he wants to solve this as well. That's why he's asked us to come back Friday after uh, the leadership races to try to get this all done. Why didn't you get to the briefing, sir? Um, I was a little disappointed with, um, I would say, some on the other side. They wouldn't, once the secretary started, they, uh, the Senator Schumer interrupted her and they really didn't want to hear it. And uh, they challenged some of the points the secretary made. So we were hopeful that we could get more in the negotiation. I know the vice president had sat down with Senator Schumer, had given him paper, had worked to try to come to an agreement, find common ground. Um, I'd hope we'd get a little more of that today. Um, hopefully Friday we'll be able to get there. How long do you think this is going to last? Real, well, it doesn't have to last much longer at all. I, I think we can come to an agreement rather quickly. Um, I know that's why the president thought maybe after the leadership races, we'd, people would be more willing to come to an agreement. And do you think they're both compromising? Will there be compromises on both sides? So. What did Senator Schumer say when he interrupted? I'm sorry? You said Senator Schumer interrupted the Homeland Security Secretary. What did he say? I think they wanted to go on without going through the briefing. They wanted to go on with their bill that they were bringing up um, tomorrow. The president's been very clear that um, it's not his, not the bill he would support. And um, Leader McConnell had said he's not bringing anything up that's not going to become law. The president, the president is also wait. Tomorrow? The president's also made it clear that. His number one responsibility is to keep this country safe. And Secretary Nielsen wanted to go over some very alarming numbers, things that are actually happening at the border. And what's happened last year? Last year alone, there were more than 3,700 known or suspected terrorists that were stopped from entering this country. So there are a lot of bad things happening. And the reason he wants to secure the border, the bill we passed in the House. All right, so uh, no real progress there. You're uh, seeing the fact that the Republican and Democratic leaders in the House and the Senate have met with the president, but no progress on that border wall or border security measure or reopening the government after it's been partially shut down for the better part of 12 days. To protect and defend, it has been very important to us, and we have committed resources to it when we were in the majority and will continue to do so. Is it, is it right? Right? No, no, no. You're going to let us each speak, please. Oh, so, I'll yield to the distinguished. Yeah, thank you. So the bottom line is very simple. We asked the president to support the bills that we support that will open up government. We asked him to give us one good reason. I asked him directly. I said, Mr. President, give me one good reason why you should continue your shutdown of the, of the eight cabinet departments while we are debating our differences on homeland security. He could not give a good answer. So we would hope that they would reconsider and would support the very bills that passed the Senate, four of them 92 to 6, two of them unanimously in the Appropriations Committee with Mitch McConnell's support. The only reason that they are shutting down the government is very simple. They want to try and leverage that shutdown into their proposals on home on border security we have we want strong border, border security we believe ours are better but to use the shutdown as hostage which they had no argument against is wrong and we would urge them respectfully to reconsider and support these bills which are bipartisan one of which Mitch McConnell proposed open up the government as we continue to debate what is the best way to secure our border. Do you see this lasting very long, the shutdown? We hope it doesn't. And we hope that they will not use the American people, the millions who depend on these eight departments, and the workers who are either not working or not getting paid as hostages to have a temper tantrum, pound the table and say it's our way or we hurt all these people. We hope that won't happen. And again, they couldn't give us one answer 
why they wouldn't support the first bill that Leader Pelosi and Leader, uh, that Speaker Pelosi and Leader Hoyer will put on the floor that will open up the government. Let me add this. Let me add this. Almost everybody in the room, I don't want to say everybody, believes that shutting down government is a stupid public policy. It puts 800,000 people uh, who work for the federal government at risk, and it puts millions of people who rely on the federal government on a daily basis at risk. We are, going, we are going to propose tomorrow a bill that has gotten the support of the Senate and the House. But the White House says it's a non-starter, sir, so why move forward? Because that is our responsibility as a co-equal branch of government, to do that but which we think is right. Will he compromise? Has he we, hope, we hope he will compromise. He ought to compromise. We are for border security. But we are also for operating the people's government in an effective fashion. What we, the, bottom line, the bottom line is very simple. At our last meeting, the president said, I am going to shut the government down. They are now feeling the heat. It is not helping the president. It is not helping the Republicans to be the owners of this shutdown. Today we gave them an opportunity to get out of that and open up the government as we debate border security. And to say to them, because he says he won't sign it and use the government as hostage, we should just give in. The American people don't want that. That's bad for our country, and that's not the way to govern. How will you convince them to move? We're asking the president to open up government. We are giving him a Republican path to do that. Why would he not do it? Except, why would he not do it? What about his office here? All right, uh, not much progress there. You've heard from uh, Republican, <coughs> excuse me, and Democratic leaders on uh, this lack of progress they seem to have made uh, on this border wall, whatever you want to call it, this $5.6 billion. The president wants as a down payment on that. Uh, and the $1.3 to $1.6, the Democrats have said not a penny more. Uh,